Hello, welcome to Electrical Classroom. In this video, we are gonna see what is a molded case circuit breaker and what is the residual current circuit breaker and the difference between them. Molded case circuit breakers. Molded case circuit breakers protect against overcurrent and short circuit. Some molded case circuit breakers are designed with inbuilt residual protection. And molded case circuit breaker isolate the circuit whenever it senses any short circuit or prolonged overload in the device or circuit it protects. Overload rating of molded case circuit breakers can be varied from 40 to 70 percent of its rated value. Some molded case circuit breakers comes with inbuilt residual current slash earth fault protection, LSIG. Residual current values of molded case circuit breakers with LSIG can be varied from 10 mA to 30 A. MCCBs are available in single pole, two pole, three pole, and four pole versions up to the rating of 2500 A. Residual current circuit breakers Residual current circuit breakers are used to provide protection against electrical shocks. In a healthy circuit, line, and neutral current will be balanced always. Whenever there is some leakage in the circuit or in case of any earth leakage in the circuit, there will be an imbalance between the line and neutral currents. These imbalance can also be caused due to electrical shocks. Residual current circuit breaker senses such imbalances and trips the circuit. Residual current circuit breakers cannot provide protection against short circuit. Also short circuits can even damage RCCBs. Hence, it is recommended to use residual current circuit breakers along with short circuit protection devices such as MCB or MCCBs to protect them against short circuit. Residual current circuit breakers are available in 2 pole and 4 pole versions with an ampere rating of up to 160 amps with a residual trip current rating of 300 milliamps. Simply MCCBs are used for overcurrent and short circuit protection, whereas RCCBs are used for protection against earth leakage, residual current and electric shocks. Thank you for watching. If you find this video useful, kindly subscribe for more videos related to electrical engineering.